Okay, I am home with two sick kids today, so bear with me. But anyway, guys, welcome back to our channel. I know it has been so, so, so long, but I promise we've been doing some great things in the midst of us being away. Y'all, for life, as usual, got the boys here. What's wrong? Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. One second, okay? Hold on. Okay. Okay, in a minute. We're gonna be collabing with some other channels, so be sure to check that description box and check out their channels. Hey, please close the door. Hold on. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm, I'm trying to get through this. I'm trying, I'm trying, but I got the kids right here. So anyway, those channels are Scott's Fam TV, which is my girl Brittany's channel, so definitely check her out. I also have Takesha Nesbitt with Everyday Nesbitt, so you got, definitely gotta check her out as well. And then definitely check out the Maker Gang, y'all, with Shada. I'm telling you, you guys will not be disappointed. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get into this collab. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be asking Dad some of the questions. Y'all, my voice is gone, so please forgive me. So what does fatherhood mean to you? So I guess we were, you were wanting me to limit it to like a minute or whatever. Yes, because y'all, you know my dad's a talker, so we're gonna. So these are probably gonna be one, one sentence answers. Um, I would say probably that's one of the greatest gifts that I could have from God is being able to be a father. Why would you say that's one of your greatest gifts? Because I understand the responsibility, the impact that you can have when you have, you know, kids and stuff like that. The things that you can instill in them for is them growing up and to be responsible of adults. So, yes. What do you feel is your biggest responsibility with being a father? Probably the, the biggest responsibility I would say is, is ensuring that you understand what your self-worth is. Because a lot of times I think in society, um, sometimes people kind of lose that in un not understanding what their true value is. And that's one of the things that I want to instill. I think that's the thing that I actually have received from my parents is instilling those values of you are a very important person. Don't ever let anyone you know, make you feel like that you're less than. Um, and as long as you understand what your self-worth is, there's no limitations on far as what um, you can achieve in life. So I'm gonna switch it up, cause um, I know guys, when I sent dad the questions, I didn't even tell him, I let him know the questions he was, I was gonna get him to answer. But I am gonna ask you a question. Did you always want to be a father? Yes. Yeah, I think that because of the fact that, you know, just looking from my own dad um, and how he was able to, you know, there's five of us and how he was able to, you know, take those times out um, and ensuring that we all were truly special to him. Oh, is it difficult being a black father? And if so, in what way? Yeah, I would say yes. And the reason why I say that is because throughout life, you know, whether you were, you know, a, a young, kid to whether you become a young adult to an adult there's things in life that you're going to face and you know as a parent those things you really wish that you could take on that for your kid but but you understand that those are things that there's they're just gonna have to face themselves and the key thing for for me is to hopefully be able to stay grounded stay prayed up so that they can now also be able to deal with those situations. Last question. What is your favorite thing about being a dad besides me being your favorite child? I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, the favorite thing is, it is sharing. You know, that, that's one of the fun things that I can remember from my own parents, you know, is being able to share. Um, being able to, to, to enjoy, you know, as you being a, a young child to you know, going to different functions and school functions and softball and cheerleading or whatever the case may be, is being able to enjoy that because you realize, you know, they're not going to be young always, even though you would like for them to be. Eventually, they're going to grow up. They're going to become teenagers. They're going to start driving. Then they're going to, you know, whether they pursue college or whatever, they got their own um, pathway that they're they're right. So. I, we try to enjoy the smallest things first because, you know, we realize that eventually later on they're going to move on to 
to, to make their own path. And thank you, Dad, for answering these questions. Okay, guys, I got Daddy J here, so I'm gonna ask him the questions for the Father's Day collab. So, did you always want to be a father? Why or why not? Yeah, I always wanted to be a dad because um, just having little cousins and stuff and playing with them all the time, it was fun. So, I just always wanted to have my own little ones to play with and stuff. Perfect, okay. So what is your favorite thing about being a dad? Um, probably just being able to teach some stuff, boys and stuff. Just teach them everything I know. And, um, what else? Same thing, play with them and stuff. And, Make sure they grow up and do everything that I was. Perfect. I'm good off. Oh, <laughs> your mom says you were mischievous. Yeah. So y'all, Justin doesn't know I'm gonna ask this question, um, but. So you got me a trick question? I do got you a, qu uh, oh, a trick see. question, right. but it's something we've talked about before. So what's the, Im what's the most important value you want to instill in our children? Okay, integrity. Ooh, you got words today. Y'all, my voice is gone. What do you feel is your biggest responsibility with being a father? Teach them to grow up, right? Yeah. I, Same thing like I just said, integrity to have integrity to be good. Yeah. Grow up, right? It's like you want them to go in the right direction, but it's like, how do you get them there? You know? I, 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 steer I can, them in the right direction. Yeah, that's all we can do, right? Just put them, steer them in the right direction. So, how many kids, how many more kids do you want? One. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you, Daddy J, for.